Hi everybody. Hello Lola, Oren, Eloise, Claire, and Cora. I am so happy that I get to talk to you today. And today I wanted to talk about how God thinks that we are all very important. Do you ever feel important? Well, you should. Because when people love you, when they're glad to see you, when they teach you things or take care of you, it means that they think you are very important. When your parents helped you eat breakfast this morning, that was one way that they showed you how important you really are. You are so important to your parents, grandparents, siblings, everyone at the church, me. I think that you are so important. And did you know that God thinks that you are very important too? He does. When Jesus was here on earth, he used to talk to his followers, the disciples, and those who just wanted to listen to him talk. He taught them things, and he told them all sorts of really cool stories. Jesus knew that they were important, and he told them how important they were. All of the things that Jesus said to them, he also says to us today. So, I want to read a story about one time that Jesus told his followers something really special. This story is called Salt and Light. I'll show you the picture. Everyone, look for the bug. When Jesus spoke from the mountainside, he always had important things to say. One story Jesus told as he was teaching from a mountain was about how we are like salt and light. Jesus said, you can be like salt to the rest of the world. The people were a bit confused. Us like salt, they asked. Jesus continued. Salt is important. It keeps food from going bad and makes it taste better too. Just a few specks of salt may not seem like much, but it makes a big difference to the food we eat. You may feel small, like a tiny speck of salt, but you are so important. What you do makes a big difference in the world. The people began to understand. You can be like light to the rest of the world too. The people were curious to hear how Jesus would explain this one. Even a small lamp can light up a big room, Jesus said. Even though you are just one person, what you do and say changes the world around you. You shouldn't hide the bright light that you are. Show the love you have for God and for yourself all day and every day. Then Jesus said, God gave the Israelites special rules and leaders to help you all live God's way so that you can be like salt and light to the world. I came to help you follow the rules so that you are living in the way God wants you to live. I want to teach others to live in God's way too. This makes God happy. The people nodded, understanding what Jesus had to say, and excited to make a difference in the world. Here is the picture. So, Jesus said that we were important to God. Jesus said that we, his followers, are the light of the world. Jesus taught his followers lots of important things things. When he said, you are the light of the world, what does that mean? I'm a person, just like you. I'm not a light. I'm not a flashlight. I'm not a lamp. I'm not a candle. I'm not even a light bulb. Is Jesus calling me a lamp? Is Jesus calling you a lamp? Is Jesus saying that I'm a light bulb? No, I don't think that's what Jesus meant. Jesus said that we, his followers, are the salt of the earth. Jesus also told his followers so many other important things, but he said one day that we are the salt of the earth. What does that mean? I'm a person. You're a person. I'm not salt. I'm not even pepper. I'm a person with hands and a nose. How about you? Are you salt? I don't think so. I see hands and I see noses too. Is Jesus calling us salt like in a salt shaker? No. 
I don't think that's what Jesus meant at all either. So what is Jesus saying to us? If Jesus isn't calling us light, like from a light bulb, or salt, like in a salt shaker, what is he talking about? Let's see if we can figure it out together. And remember that God thinks we are so important. So, God says that we are the light of the world. Do you like the dark? How about when you're walking around in the dark? Is it hard to find things? Is it kind of scary? The dark can be kind of scary. I'm going to make it dark now. We can't see! You can barely see me! It's dark! I don't like this one bit. It's not easy. It's not fun. If I dropped something, I couldn't find it. But what if there was some light? Now suddenly, this little bit of light makes us see things way easier. Jesus was saying that without kind people, the world is darkness. People who aren't kind to each other, who don't share, they are stuck in the dark. And that's so sad. It's no fun to be in the dark. Jesus was saying that we, people who want to be kind to one another and be kind to everyone, are like light. This light shines in the darkness. You know, it's just one little light. More and more light can come together. You can do more and more kind things. And suddenly, we're out of the dark. And we can help other people find their way out of the dark by helping them share, by helping them be kind to one another. We can all find our way out of the darkness and let our own light shine. So, you are also, don't forget, the salt of the earth. Why would we, why would Jesus say that? Why are we like salt? So, a long time ago, before refrigerators, before freezers, before those air conditioners in your house that made it cold, it, people wanted to keep their food fresh, but they didn't have any of those things. And where Jesus lived, it was very, very hot. So that food could get yucky and rotten really, really fast. One way that they would keep it from getting gooey and mucky and rotten is that they would cover that food in salt. That way the food would stay nice and fresh and it wouldn't go bad or get rotten. You. <laughs> Jesus said that we are the salt of the earth. We keep the earth kind and salt and nice and fresh. We keep the world from going bad or getting totally rotten. We do this by helping others and loving others just like God would want us to. We do this by sharing, by taking care of the earth, and being kind to our family and friends and neighbors. Jesus said that we were the light of the world and the salt of the earth. These are important, salt and light are important things that Jesus gave to us because we were important to God. Dear God, thank you. For letting me shine my light and be the salt. I want us to make our prayer hands so we can say a prayer together. Dear God, thank you that you have made us the light of the world, that you have made us the salt in the earth, that you have given us these things. Thank you that you love us. We love you back. Amen. Thank you guys for taking the time to sit with me and talk about these things with me. I really do appreciate. You guys make me feel important, and I love talking to you. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.